Hey guys, so today I'm here with the Red Rock 4x4 3 inch curved round side step bars, fitting all 2018 and up four door JL Wranglers. So, if you currently have the factory side steps or you don't have side steps out of the factory at all in your JL and you're looking and shopping around for a pair of side steps, then this option by Red Rock is going to be a great option to take a look at when it comes to form as well as function. So, right off the bat, when it comes to function, you do get this large stepping surface here. It's going to be a three inch wide stepping surface with some step pads in the front and the back that are going to provide you that traction and that easy access for getting in and out of your Wrangler. So these are going to double as some light side protection on any lighter trails and on your everyday adventures because they are a lot more durable than the factory side step made of a stainless steel tube construction. So like I mentioned, these are going to be for that light protection for somebody who's just doing some fire trails and just daily driving. I wouldn't recommend this to the avid rock crawler who's crawling over large obstacles just because these will not be able to take a hard hit, but these are going to do a great job at protecting your rocker from anything lighter. So with function also comes form with these, you do get this nice gloss black powder coat finish on them. This is going to give a really sleek look to the side of the Wrangler compared to other textured black options that may give a more off-road look. However, I think these look very nice and it's going to do a great job at protecting from any rust or corrosion on the metal underneath. So these are going to be a very affordable option at roughly $175, making them one of your most affordable choices on the sidestep page. Now, the reasoning behind that is because they're a more simplistic option. They are a little bit smaller than some of the other options on the page, but I personally like the simplicity of this. They look very sleek on the side of our Wrangler here, and they fit very well. Now, those other more expensive options that you may be looking at, those are just going to be a little bit more in depth and they may have a little bit more going on to them, like drop down steps, they may even have removable steps, or they may be a similar style to these, just with a wider step on top. But again, I personally think these are going to be great for the JL owner who's looking for form and function for the side of their Wrangler, looking for a sleek side step that's going to help them easily access their cab area while keeping it to a budget. So install is going to be a very easy one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, you're going to need a couple of hand tools to get the job done. So speaking of the install, let's jump into that now. The tools that I used for this install were an impact wrench, a 17 millimeter open-ended wrench, a 10 millimeter open-ended wrench, a 3 8 inch drive and quarter inch drive ratchet, a 17 millimeter socket, a 13 millimeter deep socket, and a 10 millimeter deep socket. So to kick off our install, we do have to assemble some brackets on our side step bar in order to install it on our Wrangler. Now they will be stamped with driver front, driver center, and driver rear. The same goes for the passenger side. So after you have your step bar oriented in the correct way, we can take our provided hardware and install our new bracket. So these are going to face the inside of the curve here, and you will have your hardware and a nut cert in the actual step bar that you can thread that hardware into. So after those are most of the way threaded in, we can take a 13 millimeter socket and a ratchet and go ahead and tighten those down. Now we can do the same thing for the other two brackets. Now we're ready to install this on our Wrangler. Now we can take our provided hardware and thread it into our body. So after we have the first one attached, we can attach the other two. So now we need to install our secondary bracket. It's gonna connect down at the bottom to our body mounted bracket and then to our pinch weld. So we're gonna put that in place, take our provided bolt, larger bolt with the washer. Grab our flat washer as well as the nylon lock nut. 
and go ahead and secure that down. So after that is attached, we're gonna take our smaller hardware. This is gonna be the smaller bolts, the two flat washers, and the small nylon lock washer. And we're going to attach this bracket to our pinch weld. I would also like to mention that these are stamped as well. You'll see the DC here, that's gonna be for driver center, and it'll be the same for all the rest of the brackets. So what we're gonna do next is tighten everything down. We're gonna start with the top body bolt. So we're gonna use a 13 millimeter socket in order to do that. So now we can take a 17 millimeter wrench and a 17 millimeter socket and tighten this secondary bracket on our main bracket while also holding our pinch weld in place. So now we can take a 10 millimeter wrench and a 10 millimeter deep socket and ratchet and tighten down the pinch weld bolt. Now we can do the same thing for the other two brackets. So after that's tightened down, you can repeat the same steps on the other side and you're all set to go. So that's gonna wrap it up for my review and install. Make sure you like and subscribe. And for more videos like this, keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.